coincides with the fault interpretation at Carter Knox. This coincidence suggests that in some instances, perhaps, an interpreted fault zone may be nothing more than a zone where bed thicknesses approach zero thickness. In the preceding presentation, a tectonic modeling scheme has been devised, which when applied to simple wrench folds, produces an excellent first order approximation to key observations in the field. Recently, the direction of my research has been to uplift more complicated, geologically correct wrench folds and look for possible second order structures capable of trapping hydrocarbons. The following diagram helps explain what I mean by geologi geologically correct wrench folds. In the preceding models, the pre-uplift wrench folds have been simple symmetrical folds like the anticlinal folds shown at the top of this diagram. Simple folds are to be expected when pure shear stress is applied. In reality, however, a component of compression is expected in association with the shear stress, hence the term transpressional stress. When a component of compression, compressive stress is introduced, the wrench fold geometry becomes more complex as shown. The simple symmetrical anticlinal anticline is generally twisted into an asymmetrical anticline which exhibits two distinct crests, each capable of trapping hydrocarbons after uplift has occurred. From an exploration standpoint, it is important to realize that the tectonic modeling generates a pseudo 3D model. This is accomplished by uplifting a series of 2D cross sections, such as the cross sections here, which represent the complex asymmetrical fold. Given the 3D uplift model, synthetic geophysical data, such as seismic and gravity, can be used to explore for structurally complex traps. The asymmetrical fold just shown has been uplifted to create an interesting 3D model which reveals a new type of structural trap adjacent to the elevated back basin produced by the uplift. The trap formation and structural characteristics have been documented in a videotape presentation entitled A New Back Thrust Exploration Model. Although not on the videotape for obvious reasons, the 3D model has been used to generate an exploration prospect which represents a potential new field discovery. If discovered, this well-hidden field is likely to reoccur throughout numerous basin and range provinces. In return for your company's financial support, a copy of the back thrust model videotape will be supplied to you, as well as a personal presentation of the prospect if desired and interested. Additionally, your company will be supplied with updated 3D models which utilize more sophisticated folding and uplift. Finally, in today's petroleum environment, gas is a hydrocarbon choice. Many seasoned explorationists believe that because of the high temperatures, significant untapped gas reserves exist in the structurally complex frontal thrusts. It is my belief that if the tectonic modeling is correct, the, front, the frontal thrust can be successfully explored using 3D seismic data. If this research proposal is of interest to your company, 
please contact me for more details. You may be surprised how cost-effective your exploration dollars can be.